Dear Battle Los Angeles, it does me with great privilege to say that this movie rocked and was a complete blast, unlike that wannabe, sloppy, awful acting and just stupidious skyline. With all respect in the world, Slasher Movie Reviewer. I'm the Slasher Movie Reviewer and this is my review of Battle Los Angeles is a complete blast from start to finish. It is a complete blast. We follow Aaron Earhart. He is this like sergeant. He's, you know, his main goal is to help these people get to safety, these civilians and his comrades, all of them to safety because they are being overrun by aliens and they are trying to save the world or Los Angeles and Battle Los Angeles is a blast it also has my girl Michelle Rodriguez and when Michelle Rodriguez is in it you know there's gonna be some action sequences and there are plenty plenty oh my god I was just it was this is an adrenaline rush I was having so much fun watching this film um, my drilling was going, I was happy, I was happy, I was happy, unlike that Skyline movie. I mean, I was just getting into this film. Battle Los Angeles is a blast. It's a great action film. It's much better than most alien, alien films that are out there. I mean, I will admit there are a couple of flaws in this film. So many things right. It's insane. I mean... I love the way how the opening is and how everything flows and all that stuff. I will admit it is a little bit over long and I will admit at times the dialogue can get extremely corny but besides that, besides those two factors, there's it was a blast to sit through and I mean the action was just unfolding and I mean everybody in the theater was getting to it. I was sure getting into it. I mean, I was having a blast watching this film, unlike another film that opened up this weekend. I don't want to exactly say who, but you probably know what I'm talking about. I thought the spaceships looked cool. I thought the, the aliens looked cool. I thought the story was pretty neat. The reasons for coming to Earth and what they needed. I thought all that was nice and neat. I mean, though overall the story isn't that really compelling. Or anything like that, you know, it's just basically your typical Independence Day, just heightened to more action. And this film had plenty of action, if I can say that again, again, plenty of action. I mean, what is it? There's this scene where, like, they're on this bridge and, like, they're trying to get the people to rappel down off the bridge, and yet they've got the aliens and they're shooting at them and they're shooting at them and they're shooting at them and they're blowing stuff up. It was insane. I was just, I was completely in it and I was loving it, loving it, loving it. And I mean, in this, but it felt sort of real and authentic. Like, I feel like this is sort of how our military acts today. You know, we, we, were, we were watching it through the military aspect and I felt like this is our military. This is what they do. And and it didn't put any of the Marines, the Army, the Navy, or any of that, or the Air Force, any of that stuff in a bad light. You know, they're here to help us. And I think they really captured what it's like to possibly be in the Marines. And, you know, none of the characters were overbearing or I hated. I rooted for all of them. I wanted all of them to live. You know, there are some surprise deaths in here. There are a couple of moments of tender heart where they squeeze in a little bit of emotion. I mean, I love all those little aspects they do to throw in to make a really, really enjoyable action film. And I know everybody in my theater was liking it. You want some action? You want some great aliens? You want some great special effects? Some pretty nifty directing skills, I may add, with the shaky camera and stuff like that? Thought all that stuff was great. If you want all that stuff, then go see Battle Los Angeles. You will love it. It is right up there. If you're an action junkie and you want to see an action movie, you are going to get your drink refilled multiple times. I mean, my quench for a good action flick got filled up. 
I'm going to give Battle of Los Angeles a 4 out of 5. There was a couple of, it's a little over long, could have been trimmed a little bit, and there's a, a little bit of corny dialogue in it. But besides that, this film is a blast to watch, and you'll have a great time watching it. And hey, that's why we go to the movies anyway. We want to have fun, and I had fun watching this film. So go see Battle of Los Angeles. You'll have a great time. I'm the Slasher Movie Reviewer, and you've just been slashed.